I have like these records that it's like, these records are good, they're cool, but I got records that I did with actual bigger producers. And I didn't want to throw those out without having some kind of following, you know? So I'm kind of like sitting on those. And then we were debating as like, should we throw a big record out? Or should we just, you know, work how we doing it now and just kind of organically warming up the audience? You know, what do you suggest? You think you should go just with your hardest records or do you feel like throw cool records out to build your audience? It's the network. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of going with something if it works. Like, you know, if, like if you have a song and it's working with what you're doing, why pivot? You know, like put that energy into learning, like pushing out, out as far as you can, especially since you're new, you know, because <clears throat> the big thing is just learning what works, you know. So, like, who's to say just because this song doesn't work now, you can always come back to it and rework it at a later point. That's the, the good thing about music is if I learn about you today or next year, as long as it was good music, like I can fall into the same space and kind of come through it. And you can always test out different things and go like, huh, that third video I put out was actually killing it on the Instagram ads. Let me go back to that one and start running that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's it, no rules to it. You know, you don't have to feel like a certain thing. But I'm a big fan of testing different songs and content out. And then the moment you find one that works, push that shit out using like everything, all the resources you have, you know, max it out with the ads, start looking into getting influencers to do stuff for, you know, start looking at getting shout outs on certain accounts and reaction videos and like all the other like little marketing stuff that like we talk about it, you may just pick up on doing your own research. Because like realistically, once you have a song that works, like you can literally push that song for months. You know what I'm saying? Like we all have to tell clients like, yo, you need to push this shit for six months. I'm like, damn, six months. Like what are we gonna do for six months? It's like, no, that's a lot that you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like you haven't yeah. even scratched the surface of what all could be done for it. But that's what you're looking for. Like that one song that deserves all that attention and that deep of a thought into it. You know, so luckily the ads are able to kind of punch you in the right direction for a lot cheaper than the other stuff is. So that's kind of what I look at it as. So like, if you have an ad, my, I always tell the story of like, I had a client once where we had an ad that was literally doing like two cents cost per click and he wanted to pivot because he just kind of like personally lost confidence in the song. You know, like he just, uh -huh. for whatever reason. But I, I, the conversation I had was like, bro, it's working. You know what I'm saying? Like, your followers are going up. Your Spotify followers are going up. Your streams are going up. People are deeming you. Like, it's working. You know what I'm saying? Like, like why pivot? Don't think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't fucking touch it. Leave it alone. You know, like, if you see some shit working, leave it alone until it stops working. You know what I'm saying? Unless, like, financial reasons hit you and you can't maintain it. Like, unless it's something serious like that, leave it the fuck alone. Maybe go test some stuff against it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe see if you can get it better. But grand scheme of things leave it fuck off.